you had Mount St. Helens in just a month ago had ash blow out of it and they said it was just because of the wind right next to the cascadia subduction zone ash fall is spreading in the cascadia volcano zone and people are asking what's happening yeah yeah i heard that excuse uh, usgs is trying to make a lot of excuses for uh, for these things there was a cloud of ash spotted blowing at the peak of mount saint helens this isn't just local haze this is a reminder how unstable the zone actually is but uh, I, I, to me, I, I think there's some action going on there. So we're getting emails and phone calls, um, both from pilots and from the public, just saying that they're seeing an unusual amount of ash today and they wanted to know if the volcano was erupting. It's definitely not erupting. And I think uh, by 2027, you're going to see a lot more uh, volcanic activity after that. So now we'll investigate what's causing this ash, what was USGS moves before this happens, and what does this mean for millions living on the West Coast? You said that you think uh, USGS is not saying everything, so. You know, I can prove in my reports that we are under a, a climate crisis. From your research, 30 plus years. And have you ever seen Mount St. Helens just blow up ash and just it's just flying around and in the past couple of years you've been researching it. Uh, but uh, the uh, USGS said it was the uh, just the uh, wind blowing the uh, the former ash from the uh, the eruption from the 1980 uh, eruption. But I, I, I'm not buying that one. Um, I'm not buying it. Uh, something is going on. So is seismic activity going to increase, get even worse? Like in what regions do you specifically have like locations that you've kind of mapped out here? What's their reasoning you think for this one? Just to keep people like, ah, uh, well, you won't know when it's coming. They don't want to, they don't want to create a panic. And, and I, 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 I can't, I can't blame them. You know, uh, you don't want to create a pattern. Uh, Listen, all the new people coming in, you think you don't have anybody that has your back, but we're looking at all your comments. You're helping us expand these earth disaster investigations. We need to hear from you and people who have been here. We definitely need to hear from you. And people worry about the actual seamount. Um, that's not the only area that could cause a mega thrust that I've looked at across the West Coast. But is the mega thrust going to come from the Cascadia subduction zone itself? You believe, or is there something else to it off the West Coast? There, I, I think they all can be all connected. There, I, I think that that's what they uh, maybe be worried about. Other than it would, uh, you know, disturb some other volcano, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and when the uh, when one channel starts uh, getting more intense, you know. Uh, uh, one, uh, uh, you know, one area can uh, be disturbed by the other. Um, I, I think that's what we're seeing, you know, uh, I, I think we're going to see more uh, volcanoes uh, getting, uh, uh, st you know, st to start erupting more and more. The U.S. Geological Survey confirms high wind gusts near the mountain stirred up ash left over from the 1980 eruption. It attracted so much attention, the USGS put out an informational alert to calm any potential fears of another eruption. Here's the problem. In 2024, if you look on screen right here, they removed one of the key monitoring stations on the mountain. And then... Just weeks before this haze appeared, they started installing new detectors. And we even have USGS footage of exactly when they went out there and did it. So why suddenly the change is now if everything is normal? And here's the bigger picture. Is this stress transfer going to awaken any volcanoes on the West Coast? And is this heat? off in the ocean going to cause anything as well as this hole that's off there.
this gas is coming these little you know methane gas is coming out from antarctica in multiple locations and oceans across the world right now but on the west coast specifically is this going to transfer more of the magma into the volcanoes and it's going to basically feed different of the systems around that area there is one that is waking up after 700,000 years, I believe. I just read one, but yeah, that's waking up. So you're going to see, you're going to see more volcanoes waking up. Absolutely. Um, that's why you need to just stop and hit subscribe right now because nobody's going to be covering exactly what I'm covering. We're going to give you safe zone, survival alerts, everything you need to know before the big earth disaster hits. Now let's get back to it. Is there a specific one right now that is, is waking up? Um, I have people reporting at Mount Rainier. Let us know what's going on in the area, if anything is currently. But Mount Rainier is getting rumblings and people are saying they smell rotten egg smell. Let's talk about this 2026, 2027 Earth disaster events, the mega thrust. What are we looking at right now as we see this seismic activity peak up? Are we potentially going to see a mega thrust? And people worry about the actual seamount. Um, that's not the only area that could cause a mega thrust that I've looked at across the West Coast. But is the mega thrust going to come from the Cascadia subduction zone itself, you believe? Or is there something else to it off the West Coast? I don't think the, uh, that seamount is the only thing. I, I think uh, something with the ring of fire or something maybe something from alaska maybe uh, causing that as as well um the the, the seamount uh j just causing it i i don't think it's just that uh because that thing went off a, a couple times i believe yeah it went off in 2015 and it didn't cause that so i was thinking that it's another trigger so alaska being the chain of events you're saying threat could be looming thousands of miles away in alaska People in parts of Juneau now being urged to evacuate ahead of a so-called glacial outburst that could release up to 15 billion gallons of water. So take us down that like recently had a 5.0 they had a massive uh, glacier melt and it was like a tsunami over there. But what's going on there that could transfer down to Vancouver, down to Washington, California and Oregon? I think that's on, 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 the, on the same, uh, you know. The, the, the same path there. I, I think they all can be all connected there. The, that maybe Yellowstone, maybe it's maybe that will trigger other uh, maybe uh, volcanoes as well. In a few months back, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory updated their geological hazard response plan, meaning they are concerned about something. So uh, let's go into ring of fire activity because this is a hot zone right now. And from Alaska, from the you know, Oregon, California, let's go all the way down the line here. Alaska has a volcano that's slowly activating as well. But as far as seismic activity, what do you think is coming to the West Coast? Uh, you have uh, the, the, you have a. Uh, um you have a few faults over there. Uh, um, and my nephew, he lives in, uh, uh, I believe, in Oceanside, California. And I've been telling him, uh, Joe, you need to get your butt out of there because I know what I know. And, and, I, uh, and I tell him, you know, you need to, uh, you, you know, you're not going to have enough time to evacuate because the traffic is going to be horrendous when you need to evacuate. But, uh, you know, they don't listen to me on that. They don't be one to listen out there, man. Mm -hmm. There's not much you could do if they don't listen. Like, it's like you can't at the last minute, you know, go, hey, I need to get out of here. You know, it's, you know, uh, it's, he didn't. He me during the fires, but I told him you need to pack at least pack an emergency kit in case you have to evacuate. Oh, I was going to ask you. Um, from the in the research you've done, the insights you have, and does anybody on the inside level that you're contacting 
are they evacuating the West Coast in a more high level, like scientists, uh, people who understand what's going on, government officials, anything that you've heard on that level? No, I don't think anybody has evacuated as of yet in that in that area. Um, the only thing that I, I can say is people are displaced out there. A lot of people are displaced out there. Um, you know what? Because the dipl displacement plan, we go into a climate agreement with the United Nations and we become refugees of our location. So how bad is it going to be on the West Coast? How many people could be displaced and how are they going to use that crisis to then gain more control over land, resources and everything else? Well, these uh, what are these people going to do? The insurance companies don't have the money. They're going under. The people, they don't got the money. So they are forced to sell these uh, their property. And so they're going to force to sell the property to these big investors. So these investors are going to turn around and sell it to, to another investor. And these investors are going to sell it to a business who is going to build another a uh, house or business or resort or, or whatnot, and they're going to make a ton more money. And that's all, all it is. That's all it's about, making money. And poor people, they're displaced, and I'm sure they didn't get the fair market back for their home. I'm, I'm sure they didn't get, uh, <laughs> you know, the amount they should have got for their home. And uh, they're forced to go live somewhere else. And it, it's a shame. If you don't comment, these investigations can't continue. So I need you as a team together to drop what you have happening in your localized area. Each and every last one of you make this possible. Another interview is coming up. You need to be sticking around and see that. So subscribe. But leave also any questions in the comment section that we missed in this interview that you would like to see addressed in future interviews i'm telling you they try to hide this because not many of you seen part two you need to see it now